Horror films. Ever wondered how these things are made? I've never really made a film that I wouldn't enjoy watching myself. Yes, you're about to meet a master of the low-budget, high-profit horror flick. He shows us how it's done. That's our special report. You know, a lot of people think the thrill of a horror movie is fun. So much fun, some people make their living at making horror movies. Darren Kagan tells us tonight there is room for all types. All types, Heidi. There's the big budget movie, like the one you've just seen, It. And then there's the smaller budget production. Now hang on, we're about to take you behind the scenes of Nudist Colony of the Dead. Now don't worry, Heidi, it's not a dirty movie. The producers are calling it a horror comedy musical. You know what? I love doing it. <laughs> That's my job. The movie magic starts with the makeup. Hours of it. She, comes on, she becomes ornery. <laughs> she becomes very cranky. Brad Mendelson is the lead male zombie in the film. He says he's normally a mild manner kind of guy until the zombie in him takes over. I get very mean. Yes. All right, go out. Watch out. Do the eyes. Do the eyes. These are the zombies of the 90s. They wear running shoes and even glasses if they need to. Where is it written that zombies have 20-20 vision? You want to help guide her feet? After the face makeup comes the body makeup. In this case, chunks of flesh made up of glue and dirt. Okay, we ready? Go camera. Camera's rolling. Ready? And action. Okay, we're ready. Go in. Once on the set, writer-director Mark Pirro takes over. Blood on the back of the arm is a little too fresh. We need to kind of green it up or something. The plot revolves around the nudist zombies. They have risen from the dead after 20 years, and they're seeking revenge on the zealots who killed them. I'm going to take your leg off! Take it while play! You might have guessed, this movie's supposed to be more funny than scary. Well, this movie's scare anyone. Oh, yeah. Other than the investors, <laughs> probably not. Even the investors don't have too much to lose. The entire budget is just $25,000, which means they could splurge on a smoke machine, but not much else. There are no stuntmen, and there's a lot of making do, like grabbing a shot of a passing helicopter. Right up there. Is it? Yeah. People working on this movie say that it's the kind of experience that might make the rest of their careers seem easy by comparison. The awful becomes less awful because you've done the worst, you know, so it's not so bad anymore. I'm not giving up the day job. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Will the nudists take back their colony? Well, producer Mark Pirro tells us you'll have to wait until April when the movie is due to come out. That is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> I don't know if Heidi can wait until April. <laughs> now that's my kind of horror movie, not the serious No stuff. bad dreams at the end. You got okay. it. That was hysterical. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> no bad dreams. You just need a lot of roll aids after that movie, I suspect. Jeez, between that and Morning Mouth, we're doomed. <laughs> hey, we, got, we got everything on this newscast for you tonight, folks.